It's April and this is the Library Road Show. On the show today, we'll show you a new way for students to jumpstart their research. And researching Baton Rouge takes on new meaning as we're joined by Huey Long himself. All coming up on the Library Road Show. To the April edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Mary Stein and this is a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. National Library Week occurs in April and this year the theme revolves around how libraries transform lives and communities by providing free access to technology, career development resources, and the skills to help people thrive in this digital age. We've seen evidence of this kind of transformation right here in Baton Rouge. Whether it's what happens after we've shared that very first book with a child or it's hearing from senior citizens after the bookmobile has delivered new large print and audio books to retirement centers. Patrons all over the parish are making good use of the library's resources and services, and the numbers prove it with higher usage in every category. Last year alone, our Career Center staff worked with thousands of individuals, while staff throughout the library system presented almost 800 computer classes to adults who wanted to learn new skills. Small business owners have used free library tools to either save money or make money and beef up their bottom line, which strengthens the entire region. Patrons write in to tell us what they've learned in our online classes, too, and quite a few grateful parents have shared that library resources meant the difference for not only passing grades, but even TOPS eligibility. And it all starts right here with your library card. Free access to books, audio, and library resources are just a few of the benefits available to you when you get a library card. Need free access to a computer? You get that. Want free access to premium digital resources like Mango Languages and Lynda.com? You get that. Need to book a meeting space? You get that. Heck, you can even check out a telescope or use a digital printer with your library card. If you live in East Baton Rouge Parish, pick up your free library card from your local branch library today. Premium access to everything the library system has to offer is waiting for you. Well, spring break is behind us, which means our students have just a few short weeks to finish strong. Deadlines for term papers, last minute essays, research projects, they're coming up fast. So students need to save time and the library has just the thing. Adam St. Pierre joins us now to explain in the digital download. Are you a student looking for beginner research articles? A teacher looking for content that connects to the GLEs, adult education standards, and other general content standards? Then you have to check out Explora from your East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Explora replaces Searchosaurus, Kids Search, and Student Research Center. This online resource includes primary resources, news articles, and associated press videos all in one place. So whether you're looking for STEAM instruction materials, STEM Common Core materials, sample lesson plans, or just how to cite. Your library has got you covered. To check out Explora, head over to the digital library page at ebrpl.com. This is a great jumping off point for students in all grades and for all subjects. And less time searching means more time thinking, analyzing, and writing. Can't be that. And since Adam mentioned STEM and STEAM, it's a good time to announce that we'll be hosting the Red Stick International Festival at the Main Library on Saturday, April 30th. A full day of hands-on activities for all ages, plus a free movie night on the plaza featuring a certain new Jedi Knight. I've got my lightsaber ready to go. Redstickfestival.org has all the details. Let's shift gears and check in with Kayla Perkins, reporting in from Beyond the Stacks. 
We host workshops and presentations from some of the most well-known authors, educators, and historians South Louisiana has to offer. We joined one such program this past month, something you budding archaeologists will certainly enjoy. Do you like to dig through history? We're here at the Main Library at Goodwood for a presentation by Dr. Thurston Hahn on archaeology in downtown Baton Rouge. Let's check out the program. In January 1861, Louisiana seceded from the Union and immediately started building earthworks Dr. Hahn is a respected archaeologist here in South Louisiana, as was evidenced by the full house that came to hear his most recent presentation. I've had actually very good luck with people, but this was more than what I expected, and the crowd was receptive, and I liked the fact that they were asking questions. It was very interesting. I learned quite a bit. I learned about the, the barracks and where the, uh, some of the burial grounds and some of the things that they did during the Civil War, and it was very, very interesting as well. When you think archaeologists, you think of a person excavating in places like Egypt. Dr. Hine is actively involved in many historic excavations, however. His excavation sites are right here in the South. So what would you say is your strangest or coolest find? <laughs> People always want to know what, what the best thing we've ever found. Uh, I would say probably the most unexpected find was when we worked actually in Natchez, Mississippi. Okay. And we found a early 19th century cemetery that no one knew was there, even though it was in downtown Mississippi. And ultimately we found, uh, I think, 24 uh, burials in the cemetery. Professional historians and archaeologists like Dr. Hein rely on the resources available through the East Baton Rouge Parish Library to do their work. We asked Dr. Hein to share his thoughts on those valuable resources. Tremendous. <laughs> we, uh, East Baton Rouge Parish Library System has the digital archives. If we're working in Baton Rouge, one of the first places I go to is the digital archives. Uh, we, prior to the digital age, when all this stuff was downtown, at the library downtown, I was at the downtown library going through the paper. So it, it's, it's a remarkable resource. I also do a lot of genealogy for myself, and I use the resources for that as well. Archaeology is a fascinating subject. If you're interested in digging through history, come to the Baton Rouge Room, located here at the Main Library at Goodwood. Discover programming like that online at www.ebrpl.com or pick up a copy of the monthly newsletter, The Source, for all upcoming events. Thanks, Kayla. We've been so fortunate to be able to draw on great scholars and speakers, and there's so much more to learn. Stay right there. After the break, we'll hear from another scholar when Dr. Richard White, Dean of the LSU Orso College of Business and author of this year's One Book, One Community Selection, joins Chandra for a chat right here on the Library Roadshow. Don't let E. coli mosh with your food. An estimated 3,000 Americans die from a foodborne illness each year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So always separate raw meat from vegetables. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. Every budget, so don't accept defeat. Now you can get covered and still buy me trees. You take care of your pets. Now it's their turn to take care of you. Visit GetCoveredAmerica.org to learn about your health insurance options. Welcome back to the April edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Chandra Carosio, coordinator of community programming at the library, and right now that means one book, one community. I'm here with Dr. Richard White, author of our selected title, Kingfish, The Reign of Huey P. Long. Welcome, Dr. White. Thank you, Chandra. It's great to be here. Yes. We're so excited that we picked this book, and we've gotten a lot of really great responses. Um, we have a lot of programming. People are really excited. But we know this isn't your normal day job. You know, you're the dean of the E.J. Orso Business School at LSU. So how did you fall into writing biographies? I, I, I've always been a biographer. I've always been fascinated by interesting men and women. Uh, I teach leadership at LSU. Uh, I would uh, I'd written a couple biographies before, and uh, as I got deeper and deeper into Louisiana politics, 
uh, I decided to uh, look into Huey Long. I felt a new, a new biography was needed, mm -hmm. and now we have it. Now we have it. And what are um, your other books that you've written? Uh, my first book was a biography of Theodore Roosevelt and his younger years in Washington, D.C., when he was civil service commissioner. Um, and uh, it was a, a part of his life that had been rather ignored by other biographers. So uh, 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 that was my first book. Huey was my second book. Uh, my ro most recent uh, book is a political biography of Will Rogers, the, mm. the famous humorist. Uh, and uh, that was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. And uh, um, I'm very proud of all three books. Yeah. Uh, three fascinating figures, uh, all of which I, I would love to meet. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun times. What made you pick Huey? He, uh, well, I was teaching Louisiana politics, and if you study Louisiana, you keep tripping over Huey. I mm -hmm. mean, he was such an indelible part of the past. A lot of the legacy that we have today is, is due to Huey. A lot of our free, free fighting politics is due to him. And um, I, I just felt uh, it, was, it had been over 30 years since T. Harry Williams wrote his biography. A lot of new material was out there. Uh, we need a fresh look. Uh, also, I felt people were getting Huey Long confused with Earl Long mm. who, and confused with Willie Stark, who's the character in uh, All the King's Men. Yeah. So, uh, I, you know, it, it, it was due and, and the timing was, was right. Time. Well, you know, this is our 10th year of doing One Book, One Community. Mm. And I know it's been 10 years since you've written the book. It, what, is there anything you would add if you wrote the book now? Well, I wouldn't change anything. In fact, when I published the book, uh, Random House was the publisher, and I wanted to take an extra year to get more oral histories. Mm -hmm. I, I felt a lot of the people who remembered Huey were, were getting on in years, and I wanted to capture those memories while they were still alive. But Random House uh, was in a hurry. They felt the book was uh, finished, and I, I went ahead. But if I had to do it again, I probably would, would uh, do a lot more oral histories. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. What, um, what's the most fascinating question or, or question that surprised you that you've gotten from the audience as you go around and do talk about the book? Well, I'm always asked, uh, would Huey have been, uh, had a chance of becoming president of the United States? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, my feeling is that he would not have. He, he might have been killed by another person. Uh, or and also the uh, Internal Revenue Service was investigating him, and I think that would have killed his national chances. Although it would have made him more popular in Louisiana. <laughs> right. But it's interesting. I've been called recently by a couple of major magazines to compare Huey Long to Donald Trump, uh, which has been course, an interesting yeah. uh, dialogue to go through because a lot of their methods are the same. Same. Thanks so much, Dr. White. We look forward to seeing you at Authors After Hours at the Main Library on April 23rd at 7 p.m. After this break, Mary will take a call-in guest, plus we have a book review with our youngest library patrons. That and more, next. Right, mi cariño. So like I said, everything I learned about cooking, I learned from grandma's empanadas. Shall we go again? Yep. Mix the beef with the onions, the onions with the peppers, the peppers with the paprika, the paprika with the garlic, the garlic with the oregano, the oregano with the cumin. Got it? Got it. Throw on the olive, stir, season, stir again, pour out the flour, roll out the dough, make a circle, drop in a fistful of filling, fold over, press down, and ta-da! Hmm. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. You can't control where the ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. As an American, it's hard to hear that we have a serious hunger issue in our country. And as a parent, it's even harder to hear that one in five of our kids struggles with hunger, especially when billions of pounds of good food are wasted every year. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide billions of meals to families in need right in your community. Visit feedingamerica.org to support Feeding America and your local food bank. Together we can solve hunger. Together we're Feeding America. Welcome back to the April edition of the Library Roadshow. Well, we're about ready to wrap up our One Book, One Community series. And since it's 
all about the kingfish, a man who was larger than life, we decided to go out in a big way by bringing in the big man himself for a visit. Chautauqua performer Frank Mullins will literally become Huey Long on Sunday, April 10th at the Main Library, and everyone is invited to come and share the wealth. Frank's joining me now. Okay, Frank, what is Chautauqua? Chautauqua is a living history presentation in which a scholar who has been studying a particular historical character portrays that character on stage, uh, generally in a 30-40 minute monologue. And then after the monologue, the audience can ask the character questions as though they are that historical person. And that goes on for about 15 minutes. And then uh, usually the last 10 minutes, the scholar steps out of character and then can answer questions uh, about the person that the person alive would not know, for example, their legacy or how they died or whatever. How did you get started doing this and what other figures do you portray? I started doing Chautauqua in uh, 1998 or so. I had written a book about the, uh, the Donner Party who were resorted to cannibalism in 1846 when they were crossing the Sierra Nevada in a wagon train. And it was suggested I do a character and I wound up doing one of the rescuers, uh, a mountain man named uh, Caleb Greenwood, a grizzled sort of mountain man. Uh, in order to promote the book. And I, I liked doing the performance. And then afterwards, uh, they asked me to appear in the Chautauqua the following year. Uh, and I wound up doing Babe Ruth. Uh, and then it just kind of snowballed from that. I've done uh, 13 characters since then, uh, including uh, Albert Einstein and uh, U.S. Grant and Edward R. Murrow. And uh, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Was there anything unusual that you found out while we're searching, Huey? One of the things, I don't know, it's not really unusual, but one of the things that uh, really stood out to me uh, in researching Huey Long is how Huey Long and uh, uh, others of that time, uh, Father Coughlin, the radio priest, for example, really shaped the modern political landscape. Uh, you've got these uh, people on the, the edges of, of, of politics that then come front and center, uh, and, and uh, uh, people like FDR, who was uh, was drawn more into the progressive fold, I think, by pressure from people like Huey. And uh, so uh, Huey is not some aberration in American politics. He is uh, uh, he, he's part of a changing trend, and uh, uh, there's a real continuity between Huey and and modern times. Frank, what questions or comments have really surprised you coming from the audience while you were in your role as Huey Long? You get a lot of, uh, for example, questions from kids. Uh, uh, kids ask uh, the darndest questions. Uh, for example, uh, did Huey have any pets? Uh, things like that, just, just real basic day-to-day uh, -day things that uh, you didn't necessarily really research a lot about. Uh, and then also, uh, adults tend to confuse Huey with all the king's men, which of course was based on him. Uh, but they want to know, you know, who you uh, did Huey kill that guy that was involved in the car accident and things like that. So you get a lot of overlap between fiction and fact. Um, also, with Huey, people still to this day, uh, uh, older people and and they're fast disappearing who actually knew. Uh, or who actually lived when Huey was, uh, you know, in his uh, prime. But uh, uh, they ask uh, or, or they comment about how much they, they loved him because of what he did or uh, how much they hated him because of, of what a crook he was. And so the real personal connection with, with Huey uh, or was, uh, I mean, that, that, that generation is uh, passing away, but uh, uh, there's still a lot of passion uh, involved with you even down through the generations uh, and, and so that that's a lot of fun when people have that personal connection uh, with the character and that's especially true uh, with people like Huey Long. Thanks so much Frank looking forward to seeing you in the flesh at the main library and of course it's all free find out more details on the Kingfish info guide at ebrpl.com now you know it's not all about Huey we checked in with some local kids to find out what they're reading. What is your favorite book? Peter Cat. Show me Peter Cat. Duck, what's that? That's a mustache. What's that? Peter Cat. Can you read me some? Page. It doesn't have no eyes. They don't have any eyes? Why not? Because they 
Maybe they have their eyes closed, like this. There's lots of stars. There's no stars. These are not stars. What are they? They're bells. They're bells? That's wow. awesome. He has beads now. Oh. Here he comes. In the water. In the water. Wow. In the water. He likes to live in the water. Like a boat? Right. Awesome. That's not a boat, that's a car swimming. The end. The end. Thank you. <laughs> Always gives me hope for the future when I see kids fully engaged in a book. Stay right there. You're watching the April edition of the Library Road Show. How can I help my daughter with her reading? Searching for help with Dachshund reading. No. <laughs> Let me try. Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out words. Playing world music. What? I give up. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. Look at me. Hey. Raymond, look at mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. Ooh. Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe it's a phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. My name is Melissa Easton and I'm head of the Special Collections Department of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library located on the second floor of the main library at Goodwood where Baton Rouge history comes alive. Our One Book, One Community selection this year is Every Man a King, the Autobiography of Huey Long. Born in Wynn Parish in 1893, Long was a flamboyant populist Democrat who was known for his tireless promotion of the working man and his strong-arm tactics to achieve his political vision. Here we have a first edition of the book, self-published by Long in 1933 and featuring a number of photographs and illustrations. The book originally sold for $1 and recounts Huey's early life, his rise to political power, and his experiences as the governor of the state. Long utilized the phrase, every man a king, in many ways. One of his most well-known speeches, given in February of 1934 and broadcast over the NBC radio network, bears this name, and many Louisianians are familiar with the song he co-wrote with LSU band leader Castro Carrazzo. While strongly associated with the phrase, every man a king, Long did not originate it, as it was a popular early 20th century advertising slogan. Always a polarizing political figure, certain stores in anti-long territory that sold the book were boycotted. The book was a bestseller in Louisiana, and every visitor to Long's Senate office in Washington, D.C. received a copy. One has to wonder if Long even managed to get a copy to Franklin D. Roosevelt himself. The library has many events planned in conjunction with our One Book, One Community celebration. To find out what we have in store, call or visit one of our 14 branches or visit the library's website at www.ebrpl.com. See this and many other artifacts of historical significance at the Baton Rouge Room Archive located inside the Special Collections Department in the main library at Goodwood, where Baton Rouge history comes alive. You're watching the April edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. It's been really fun to see what the Baton Rouge Room has collected in the vault that complements our One Book, One Community series featuring Huey Long. And of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Samples are available online in the digital archive, but we also invite you to come down and check out those great old scrapbooks, yearbooks, and photographs. Listen to the oral histories, and you can even get help as you start climbing your own family tree. It's all available at the main library on Goodwood, and it's all free with your library card. 
Spring is here, flowers are blooming, and it is time to get our relationships in gear. To get your pages turning this month, I have two great books into movies to share with you. We're featuring the dynamic tides of relationships. Our first book from the writer and producer of a great show like Sex in the City and Related on the WB comes Liz Tuchillo's hilarious book, How to Be Single. It begins on a brisk October morning in New York. Julie Jensen receives a hysterical phone call from her friend Georgia, reeling from her husband's announcement that he is leaving her for his samba instructor. Georgia manipulates Julie into throwing a girl's night out, but the night pans out to be pretty far-fetched, as these girls do not have a blast. For example, Alice, a former legal aid attorney, has recently quit her job to start dating for a living. Serena is so crazy she wants to become a new person she can't even find the time to look for romance and Ruby my favorite a curvy compassionate woman has been mourning the death of her cat for months on end after a disastrous girls night out and being fed up with being single in Manhattan Julie sets off to find out how women around the world do it from Paris to Mumbai and all stops in between and in a nutty eat leave eat, love, pray kind of spin, Julie sets off to find out exactly how to be single. The book has been adapted into film and stars Dakota Johnson, Allison Brie, Leslie Mann, and the raunchy yet affable Rebel Wilson. And of course, no relationship collection is complete without discussing the bromance of the century, Batman and Superman. Superman Batman was a monthly comic or graphic novel published by DC Comics that features both characters. It premiered in August 2003 and it was an update of the previous series World's Finest Comics in which the two heroes routinely join forces. The novels explore the camaraderie, antagonism, and sometimes tenuous friendship between between his titular characters. However, things did not begin well for the Cape Crusaders, as one can see on the big screen now in the live action film adaptation, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. The movie plays on a mixture of several volumes of the comics mashed together on the big screen. Ben Affleck pays a moodier, edgier, and jaded Batman, and the finely chiseled Henry Cavill plays Bat Superman to perfection. Mm, mm, mm. Simply marvelous. And that's how the page turns. Thanks, Tamika. I've just finished reading a companion book to Kingfish, and I'm looking forward to diving into a big, juicy thriller next. With so many books to choose from, I've pulled up suggestions from novelists to help me narrow it down. I'm also planning on checking out Authors Row on April 23rd. Over 40 local authors will be on hand at the Jones Creek Regional Branch to share their work. Always a fun exchange. And now for today's contest. Visit the library's Facebook page at facebook.com slash ebrpl and share your library transformation story or photo with us. That's facebook.com slash ebrpl. And while you're there, enjoy. We're not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Roadshow next month? Well, believe it or not, it's almost time for summer. So I'll give you a sneak peek of what's in store. Tune in next month and I'll go behind the scenes with the summer reading program. And next month, I'll introduce you to a new resource in the digital library. I'll be getting ready to rock and roll on the bookmobile for the Baton Rouge Blues Fest. Thanks so much for joining us on the Library Roadshow. And remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week at each and every one of 14 branches, plus 24-7 on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com.